Citrus can bring all the best flavors of summer to your next dish. Meyer Health Living Advisor Tina Miller shows us, oh my goodness, citrus salmon. It smells so good. Oh, it's delightful. It's very fresh. It really brings out the flavor of the salmon in a very nice way. And we're going to serve it alongside an Asian slaw, mm. which is actually a package product that you find in the produce area. Already made up. Already made up. Or you can um, slice up some um, Napa cabbage if you want and reserve some of the marinade I'm going to make aside before before it goes on the fish and toss that with the, the napa, however you want to do it. So I'll have you Perfect. start making the slaw. Okay. So in the slaw, the package is shredded cabbages, carrot, green onion, and then Very you nice. can mix in there as well. Um, in the package comes some uh, wontons and almonds, so you can dump oh, those okay. in there. Dump these in and then, before you put the mix in. And then you can, uh, okay. I'd give that a little bit of mix up just sure. to get it mixed sure. together. And then you add the ginger dressing that comes with the package as well. It's just a beautiful complement mm. to this dish. For the salmon, yes. uh, the marinade is about a third cup of soy sauce. I'm okay. using the Meyer Reduced Sodium Soy Sauce. A quarter cup to a third cup of orange juice. Orange juice. And that gives that su great citrus flavor. Mm. Um, about a tablespoon or so of brown sugar. Mm. We need the brown sugar to counteract some of the heat because we're going to put some crushed red pepper flakes mm. in here. Mm, lovely. So as much or as little as you want. Uh -huh. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon in there. Which is like a half a capful. Half a capful. Okay. Yeah, I, I measure so accurately. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, here I have the equivalent of about three cloves garlic and two tablespoons of minced ginger okay. and I'm using my cheaters again our uh, garden gro gourmet that you find in the produce area That's perfect tube they're fresh but it, it makes it so wonderful. easy it really yeah. does and they keep about three weeks once they're opened in okay. the refrigerator so I'm just gonna put those in with my mm -hmm. marinade here and start the mixing are divine <laughs> and then about two or three green onions just okay. diced up and we'll mix that that marinade is going to go right over top of our salmon so, and as I said, if you wanted to do your own fresh cabbage, you'd reserve some of this sure. to toss with the cabbage. Then it'll go over our salmon. I've already got a little bit on there marinating. Lovely. And then the salmon will go right on your grill. Okay. Um, I usually put mine on some mm. aluminum foil. Oh, fabulous. Isn't that nice? It's it's great. Fresh flavors. So the skin side will go down okay. on your grill. Nice sizzle. So, take some of those off. Fun. And then that'll cook, the rule of thumb when cooking fish is 10 minutes per inch of thickness. Okay. So this will take about 10 minutes to cook on medium high heat. When it's done, you just take your uh, spatula, a metal spatula works best, and you can actually lift the meat right off the skin. So mm. you just shimmy it under there, it lifts up, and we'll serve it alongside with our beautiful cabbage slaw. Wow, how and pretty, Tina. some fresh Michigan blueberries mixed with a few uh, raspberries. You know, blueberries are brain food, so and it's you call great. it brain food. This is a power meal. It and a really low cal is, meal, really. It's low cal, yeah. and it's a great power meal um, as far as the antioxidants from the berries go, with the omega-3 fats from that healthy fish, lean protein, low in calories, and just really delightful and refreshing. Tina, so. thank you so much. We're so happy to have all your recipes on our website, wxyz.com. Ooh, that smells good.